now it's time to start saying our piece. And so I'll get Robbie to read the first page of the Sovereign Declaration. The proclamation. We, pro we proclaim that whereas Australia, inverted commas, has always been and continues to be an island continent consisting of sovereign, independent Aboriginal nations and peoples of diverse languages, all operating with their very defined territories, exercising culture and customs according to our laws and observing our spirituality and religious orders, in accordance with our creations. And whereas Aboriginal people, laws, culture, spirituality and religious practices establish our continuing sovereignty, which underpins the ancient continental common law of this island, continent, now known as Australia. Whereas Aboriginal people, sovereignty has at all material times existed as a matter of settled legal fact and law prior to 1788. Mabo number two judgment confirmed Blackstone's commentaries of law of nations when the High Court of Australia ruled that the law of customs survived British sovereignty. Whereas, upon invasion, the existing laws of the Aboriginal nations and peoples have been systematically violated due to willful, wrongful acts of denial and non-recognition. This non-recognition and denial is a continuous blight on the Australian political and legal system, covered up by institutionally widespread racist processes which are historically unique to, to the legal and political establishment this one. and whereas the illegal processes of denial commenced in earnest during Cook's scientific expedition in 1770, where he willfully breached the orders by fraudulently pretending he had obtained the consent of the natives of the east coast of Australia to take possession of lands, Cook's actions were and are by law, then and now, criminal acts of fraud. And whereas international law at the time. Moreover, it was the ultra-virus, which means outside the law. There exists a legal contradiction that is contrary to the original British admiralty instructions to Captain James, I think it was a lieutenant actually, James Cook, when in 1770 he was sent out to explore the great South land and take possession That's how they did it. of any such land. These are the instructions. With the consent of the natives, take possession of convenient situations in the country in the name of King of Britain, or if the country is uninhabited, take possession for Her Majesty by setting up proper marks and inscriptions as first discoverers and possessors. That's the first page of this. Page. 